Welcome to Ventabren, France. Um, today is April 30th, 2009, and um, we're just here. We just wanted to make a video, my husband, Yen, and I, um, to give you a little tour of the village we live in. It's a very small, quaint little French village. It's kind of your typical, um, just very old, like it's like the real France. That's how I kind of look at it. Um, but anyway, we just wanted to show you around. Um, sitting up kind of in the parking lot, it's the most gorgeous parking lot in the world. Um, we park our cars here and then we walk into the village because um, the village obviously it was built long before there was cars. So um, you kind of have to park up here and walk up, but it's still really nice because you get to have this beautiful view when you walk to your house. So one of the things I really love about living in this little tiny old village of Ventabren is just all the little details you see when you're walking around. And um, one day I was walking from the parking lot and I was looking up at the side of the building just admiring the, the rose plant here and I saw this thing on the side of the wall and it took me a second to figure out what it is but it's a sundial, a really old sundial and unfortunately the sun is not on it right now so you can't see it working but it does keep really accurate time. So. Um, alleyway in our rough and tough village. <laughs> Just wanted to show you, it's super beautiful with the rock walls. Okay. So right behind me is the church that's located in kind of the center plaza of the village. Um, it's a very, very old Catholic church. It's made out of stone. I think it dates from the 16th century. Um, I have not been to a mass yet here, or I have not even been inside, but they do a mass every Sunday. I just can't get up early enough to go. Um, but it's super beautiful from the outside, and as you can see up there, there's a, a clock tower. And it actually starts ringing, there's real bells up there, and they start ringing them at about 7 a.m. And it's just, they, they do the, the um, however many dongs per hour, so if it's noon, there's 12 of them and um, definitely gets you up pretty early in the morning. I haven't quite gotten used to it yet. So you can see below me um, is the old windmill and we just spotted it one day when we were driving around but um, it's kind of hard to see the blades of the windmill right now because we're at a bad angle. But um, there's kids riding their bikes down there. I think it's, um, it's really, really cute. Good photo opportunity. Um, anyway, so I just want to tell you um, where Ventabren is. It's located about a 15 minute drive outside of the center of Aix in Provence. And Aix is located in the south of France. Um, we just moved here, maybe I would say about four or five months ago. Um, we lived in Marseille before that. Marseille is the second largest city in France and um, it was okay. It was just a big city. I'm not really much of a big city person. So we found this place and as you can see later our apartment, we just fell in love with it right away. Um, and it's super old and beautiful so we had to come and for me it's really cool because I got to see the city side of France and then I got to live in a little village too. So it's pretty neat to be able to see both sides of it. Okay, so come on and um, see the little alleyway we live down. Um, it's still a little bit cold. It's like the end of uh, April, but it's, I'm still pretty chilly. But the sun's out, so that's good. Um, so right here, there's a, a restaurant, and um, it just closes in the winter. So it uh, it's opening, I think, right now this week, and um, it looks good. <laughs> there's been some people eating here, but I haven't. We haven't tried it yet. I think we're going to try it when my parents come next week. So, um, the, re the restaurant's in there, and this is like a little terrace. Very beautiful view of the mountains. And if you want to follow me, I can show you up to the apartment. Okay, so 
Come on. Come on along. Um, right here we have, um, this is our street, on pass Romanilla. And on pass is just basically this, it's just a really tiny little alleyway that you can only walk down. So, um, yeah, we have some really cute houses around here and apartments. We leave the door open, unlocked. <laughs> it's pretty safe. Um, here's our guest room. So here's where you can come stay at Heather and Yen's uh, bed and breakfast. The only downside is we don't really have a bed frame for the bed. So it's on the ground. If you want to have a quick look at our little tiny bathroom. Oh, look who I found in the apartment. Moxie, of course. You have to have your, um, your token French cat that runs around in the village, so we have ours. Um, we got her to fit in with everybody else. <laughs> So we have, uh, yeah, this is our little living space. We have a little dining table. Um, come check out the view from here. Well, it's pretty much the same as the guest room, but it's so pretty. And uh, we get lots of sunlight in the mornings. And just a very pretty view. And over here we have our super cool functioning fireplace. So um, we used it a lot when it was colder, but now it's getting warmer, so we don't really use it too much. But uh, it's very, very romantic. Here's our other view out of this window. And um, as you can see, there's a fig tree right there that there's little figs starting to, to grow on. Um, and here is our kitchen. It's a very tiny little cute kitchen. It feels like a cave. Because as you can see, the um, there's stones on the wall, and I forgot to show you in the guest room. But honey, why don't you film the, the ceiling of the, the room in here to show them the exposed beams? <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how old this apartment is. I'm guessing it's like I don't know six or seven hundred years old. Um, but I think all the I think all the wood beams. And the fireplace is definitely original, all the walls and everything. So I, th I know they did some renovation, but I think the actual, like, uh, the main structure is pretty much the same as it was. Come on in the kitchen. Um, yeah, we have a little dishwasher and um, have a little window up there for some ventilation. And um, we put this, this wood board in just to have a little extra counter space. Here's the bedroom. We don't have a door on our bedroom. It's a good thing we live alone. Moxie likes to go out of this window and, and terrorize everybody on the roof. Now here we have another really beautiful view. Check that out. Um, there's actually, uh, maybe you could film the, the, the ruins up there. The, up there is um, at the top. I guess it was kind of like it's like kind of the oldest thing in the village, and um, there's this little satellite in the way right in front of you. But, um, yeah, there it is. So it's just I think it was a castle, um, but that's all that's basically left of it now. And um, you can hike up there. There's a huge park. There's tons of hiking trails, um, just like miles and miles of trails. Okay, and then just one last thing before our tour is complete. And that's our closet, our huge, the hugest closet I've ever had. <laughs> um, basically, yeah, it's, it could actually be a little bedroom, like a nursery for a baby, which is good, because I'm pregnant. 
I didn't even mention that. Look, I'm, I'm not even showing yet, am I? Just a little bit. Um, we have a, a heater that, that's in here, so, and even the window, which, um, again, Moxie likes to go out there and mess with the neighbors. So that's pretty much the whole apartment. Um, there's even a little sink up here. So you don't have to go downstairs to brush your teeth if you don't want to or if you get thirsty at night. Um, but that's it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it and um, hope you got to have a little um, insight into our life here in Ventifern. Bye.